Mentimeter, love it. Mentimeter, love it. Okay, so I am going to show you how to build one quickly. Um, I only have the free version. I do not pay for this, although it's a relatively inexpensive and I'm sort of debating it, but totally not necessary. I have used it seamlessly without paying for it. So let's just go to build a new presentation. So we're going to say uh, video testing, just because I'm making this for a video. And uh, so here we go. I like to sometimes start out with this. So a word cloud, super fun, okay? So um, how are you feeling today? I like to do this, set it at one entry per participant. So they put one thing, but allow them to submit multiple times, okay? And let's see, let's go, um, let's see. Sometimes we can find um, a good uh, image. There we go, we'll just call it this. We can shrink it like this. All right, so now we'll have a little picture. Okay, so that's how to add a word cloud. You can have the picture or not, that's up to you. When you wanna add a slide, you go here. Okay, here you can add content. So you can have, uh, change this out. Um, right, change whatever you want. Um, I like to add these at the bottom just to give students um, a chance to interact, say, with um, the content as I'm presenting it. I typically don't uh, put this like hate it. So I'm pretty sure that's a hate one. Love, hate, question, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I typically don't add this one. All right, but you would just continue adding slides. Okay, you can add just an image. You can add a video. Um, you'd need to screen share to show this unless you're doing a self-paced one. Um, so you can add however much content you want. With the bullets one, I like this um, because you can um, click and show each bullet one at a time or you can have it show all at once, okay? Um, and then if I wanna go here, I like this, scales. I think this is outstanding. Um, and let's see how much you need, like each uh, type of activity. All right, so let's just say Mentimeter, oops, play, pause it. And we'll just put three. Uh, you can keep adding. And um, I will add for one, not at all. And um, Let's just change this to, it's the worst. Okay, and uh, so we'll leave that as it is. Now when I add a slide, see here's the difference with free. Do you see now I cannot add um, any more of these types of questions? I can continue adding content. And then there's quiz, okay? So uh, how many phones in the... And we just give them a few answers. Oops. Okay, we select the right answer right there. Okay, decide how long you want to give them, 15 seconds, change it. Okay, uh, set music if you want. Uh, I tend to like this one, but that's up to you. And, uh, and then you get up to five quiz questions and you could do them throughout the presentation which is pretty awesome. So let me show you what this looks like from a student end. So I'm gonna kind of flop back between student and uh, teacher view. So let's share it. All I do is copy this link. Okay, I'm gonna go into another tab. Okay, I'm gonna copy that link. All right, so here is, uh, and here I'm gonna go to the um, present, okay. All right, because I was accidentally, uh, so here we go, uh, present. All right, I was looking at that slide, so the music came on right away. Phew. Okay, so here we go. Now the, uh, so that's a fun fact. Sometimes you end up on the wrong slide initially. So here we are. Um, this is my teacher view. Here's student view. So I'm just going to add a few. 
just so you can see. I'm going to enter um, OK, OK a couple times. OK. So just add. OK, so what does it look like on a teacher side? At first, it doesn't look like anything, but press S and hide it. And here we go. You can see and as students are working. So let's see. <clears throat> and submit it on the teacher side. Watch. There we go. It changes. Okay, so you can choose to display this um, as a screen share as students are working. Okay, so let's go to the next slide, all right, which is today's topic. As a student, they're going to need to click this, go to slide. Whenever it's when they have to submit something, they're going to need to say, um, go to the next slide. That's the only type. So now I'm going to go on. Okay, so they're going to just see that content. That's the student. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next slide. Here's what it looks like for the student. How much you like each type. So they're going to drag these dots. Okay, quick way to get some anonymous feedback. And then they're going to need to submit. Okay. See, and then I'm going to get a nice graphic as the um, instructor. Fantastic. Okay. And now here we are in the quiz. Okay. So I'm going to join the quiz. Okay, here I am as a student. Okay, you get the question for five seconds, then you have to answer. Okay. Tells me I got the right answer. Okay, then as the instructor, when I go on, it's going to add up the points, right? And then it's going to show me, well, I'm the only one here, so it's going to tell me uh, that I am in first place and I won because there was one question, okay? And then um, that's it. I'm going to end this here, okay? And uh, that's it. So on the student, just click skip sharing. That's usually what I tell them to do. One last thing that I do want to show you about um, quiz is for, um, let's see, here we go. Expand this. You want to, you can uncheck this and have just the quiz slide start automatically. So you, it's a, it saves you a little bit of clicking if you do that. So that again is in configure. Okay, so when you have a quiz, you can do that. Expand this and uncheck this, so it'll just start automatically. Um, I do allow questions from the audience on all slides, but I don't allow them to see each other's questions. Okay, um, that is a nice feature. Um, since I have a quiz, I can't do it, but I could audience paste this if I left quizzes off. And you can also change themes. So anyone that doesn't have the green pro, you can change um, the look of your Mentimeter. So it gives it a little bit um, of an interesting or different varied background, okay? So again, for configure the big ones that I do, I'm going to allow questions from the audience on all slides, but not allow them to see each other's questions. And for quiz, um, I often just let it start manually. Okay, and if you have an issue with profanity, there is an option to add a filter. Um, I just don't have an issue in my classroom, so I don't put that on. But it is available if you want it. So Mentimeter has this great, these great strategies to involve students in a presentation, get a lot of anonymous feedback, and just make it a little bit more fun. I highly recommend Mentimeter.